So this is the molar mass of butane lab. We will be using a regular old ladder as our source of butane. And this is going to be our butane collection set up here. First thing we need to do though is get the temperature of our water bath so that we know what we're working with. So the temperature of this particular water bath is 22.0 degrees Celsius. So we're good there. And then the first thing that our procedure tells us to do is take this guy and dunk it in water. And you're probably going, well, why on earth do I have to dunk this thing in water? Well, it's two reasons. Reason number one is so we can make sure that the striker is wet so that we minimize the likelihood that we can accidentally set off the butane gas that we are collecting. And the second reason is just to ensure that the gas that's inside the container is the same as the temperature of the water trough around it. So now we're going to take this out, dry it off as much as we can. And we are going to find the mass of our butane lighter. And our initial mass is going to be 21.84 grams. And so at this point, we are now ready to go on to the next part. So what I got to do, I got to fill this guy all the way up to the top with water. It's regular Plano water. For once, it doesn't matter if we use distilled water. Now it needs to be all the way up to the top. We don't want any air bubbles. And so I'm going to use this, I'm going to make a mess in the process, so, to help me invert this into our little water bath here. And it's got two holes in the top, so i got to make sure I plug those holes. I couldn't find one without any holes in it. All right, and then once it's in there, take the stopper out, and there you go. No bubbles in our top. Now I'm going to get this out of the way because I'm about to make a real big mess. <clears throat> so now the next thing that you're supposed to do is take your butane lighter and put it directly underneath your graduated cylinder. Now once you have the graduated cylinder in there, be careful not to lift the opening of the graduated cylinder above the level of your water bath because if you do that, then your water's going to come out. So I'm just going to position the butane lighter under here. And the procedure says, um, collect about, says 90 milliliters of the butane in this graduated cylinder. And then to collect the last 10 milliliters, we're going to have to adjust our graduated cylinder. So I'm going to collect my 90 milliliters of gas. All I'm doing is pressing the, um, I don't know what you call that little thing, the little plastic lever down in the bottom. And the butane is just bubbling up through the water. Now, while I'm collecting this water, or while I'm collecting this butane, I'm going to point out that once we go to actually do some calculations with the volume of gas that we've got in here, we have to remember that the gas that's in here being trapped right up in the top here, it's mostly butane, but it's also a little bit of water vapor because water will have a minimal amount of evaporation occurring at room temperature and as the butane's bubbling up through the water you know it kind of enables some of those water vapor molecules that are right here at the surface or water molecules they're not vapor yet um they're right here at the surface to escape into here and so what we actually have in this air this, this gas collection that we're doing is a mixture of butane with a little bit of water vapor. So before we do any kind of calculations with this volume that we're about to get, we're going to have to cancel out our water vapor. And so I'll show you how to do that in the post lab questions analysis. So we've got about 90 milliliters of gas in here and at this point we need to make sure that the pressure of our gas inside is equal to the atmospheric pressure around us which we looked up on Weather Channel today 
And the atmospheric pressure is 1.0063 atmospheres. And so to ensure that the pressure inside here is the same as the pressure around us, I'm going to make sure that this water level matches the water level inside the graduated cylinder. And then I'm going to continue adding gas until I get to 100 milliliters of gas. Now why do I want to get to 100 milliliters of gas? Well, because 100 milliliters is a lot easier mathematically to deal with than, you know, 99.7. So I'm going to try to get to exactly 100 milliliters of gas. So I'm just going to fill this up the rest of the way. Keeping the water line inside. I'm using my hand to keep the water level inside the graduated cylinder the same as the water level outside. So I'm there. I have collected exactly 100 milliliters of gas. And at this point, I'm going to move on to the next step, which is drive the butane lighter and weigh it again. So at this point, we have the vent hood turned on in my classroom. So I'm just going to simply pick this up. And all this butane gas and water vapor that I just collected in there, I'm just going to set it off to the side and let the vent hoods in the classroom suck all that up. So I'm going to take my lighter out, dry it off. And make sure you shake it out so that any water that collected in there comes out too. Just don't shake it off at anybody because that's not very nice. All right, and then I'm going to come back to my balance. And I'm going to get my final mass. And my final mass is 21.65 grams. And from there, we can move on to our post lab questions. Done.